It is quarter of eight, and I have already been in the middle of a meeting. Oh, pardon my bedhead. So, it is quarter of nine. I just got off the phone with my first client for the day. Drew needed to have an early morning meeting, and so that means I'm still in my jammies. Sometimes this is what entrepreneur life looks like. So, what's the rest of day 118 of level grinding to do? I have no idea. I need to go take a walk first. So the first thing I know that I need to do is to finish out my morning routine. So right now I'm on my morning walk and I'm going to go through the rest of it when I get home. The reason for this is that on days where everything is jumbled out of order, I will then start my day jumbled out of order. So when I'm able to complete all of the steps in my morning routine, it helps me get off to the right foot and get back into sync with my day. Oh man, I am telling you, when I get out of sync with my morning routine, it derails so much. It took me a long time to get through my morning routine, but now I feel like I have completely set. I know where I'm at for today, and I know exactly what I need to do. And my to-do list looks like it's long, but it's really not as long as it seems. So sometimes when things don't fit into my Midori, I will actually make another little to-do list on a sticky sheet, and then I will put that into my book later to so remember what the heck I'm doing. Um, right now, the book I'm working on needs to get posted to ACX. That way my uh, narrator can get on that. Um, I already have my newsletter written from yesterday, but I need to prepare it so it can go out tomorrow. I need to finish the blog post that I was working on yesterday. Um, there's a couple other things on this list, but they're really not going to take so much time, like the avid time with Lori. I just need to schedule that. Um, hopefully the sketchbook work I'll be able to do tomorrow because that is due back to the sketchbook project library at the end of the month. Um, I need to do some tweaks for Drew. Um, a lot of this stuff isn't going to take a lot of time. It's just stuff that I have to get done hopefully today. And if I don't get it done today, that is okay. Um, I'm purposely leaving the afternoon of Thursday and Friday open as catch-all days for all the little stuff that isn't getting done yet. Um, and that way I can make these things happen during the week, even though I have two major chunks of time, Thursday morning and Friday morning, occupied with other things. Um, and this is part of the challenge of working around just life. Um, I was actually just having a texting conversation with a friend of mine who also owns a business. She lives up in Michigan and she's currently sick and her business is massage. And so as long as she's sick, she can cannot massage her clients like she's supposed to be able to do. And so I was talking to her about how, you know, just because you're sick and you're down, um, when you are in your rest period, like if you're feeling really ill and you need to stay in bed, stay in bed. But just because that's happening doesn't mean that when you're sitting on the couch and you really want to watch TV, it doesn't mean that you can't do something else like look for other opportunities to promote your business, write Facebook posts, like there's a bunch of other things that you can do. And so sometimes those chunks of time that eat into your day, being sick, having meetings, having doctor's appointments, um, these are still things that you can work around. And again, this goes back to that diagram of urgent and important that I referred to on Monday. Um, because again, you have to make that decision. What's the most important and urgent thing that I need to get done today? And how does that fit around the other stuff that is getting in the way? You know, when you're doing your 12-week year, normally what you do is that you plan out your blocks of time, you plan out what your week's going to look like on paper, and then you start to execute. And so when you have chunks of time that are really big, that are all coming out at once in one week, sometimes it's a challenge to schedule all of that stuff into your normal work week because your normal work week is so short. And so this is part of the process of figuring out how do I still get all this stuff done even though my normal time blocks are not what they usually look like. So now that I've had that thought, I'm going to get started because if I keep talking to you guys, nothing's going to happen today. It is 2.45 for the past couple hours since lunch. I have been carefully working my way through emailing my leads, also working my way through preparing my, uh, what is this thing, my email for my company. So that should be done. Uh, wait a minute, let's make that 7 o'clock just because some of my people are out in the East Coast. And that is going out tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay, schedule campaign and rock on hooray thank you freddie i appreciate it so i can check my newsletter review and prep off my list and um, then i can get back to my blog 
although I might just do this stuff for Drew's stuff just to get out of my way. Um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to get this done. This is some of the, like, the most important things that I need to do based on our meeting earlier this morning. Uh, the reality is that everything else from his uh, to-do list is going on my work week next week. I'm not even going to try and attempt it this week. It is now 3.30, and that is usually the start of my fourth work block right here. Um, but I am actually going to go take a short break because I worked into my break, and I'm going to go actually get done some of the household chores that have been screaming at me all day. Um, this is also going to help me take my mind off of all the writing that I have been doing for myself all afternoon, and it's going to allow me to get back into the swing of things when I come back to my work and do some of the work that I need to do for Drew. This is part of the reason why I like having rest blocks purposely scheduled into my day. I've been really bad lately about actually taking advantage of them, and that's because my own personal systems have been falling behind because I've been tired, I've been dealing with a couple of things, and so that's partly my fault. But right now I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I do have that break worked in. And the reason why it's important for me is because when you have rest in between your work tasks, it allows you to put away the one and then have a break and put the next one into your brain. I discovered in my own work when I was jumping from task to task to task that it would often take me about a half an hour to switch from one into the other. And when it came to making sure that my clients were actually paying me for good work time, I was tired of asking my clients to pay for a half an hour where my brain was fiddling around. It was much easier for me to take a break, go get something done, take a mental break, just like clear the air, not even think about work for a little bit, and then come back and actually be much more productive. I can't tell you guys enough work breaks. If you can schedule work breaks into your day, they are invaluable. They will enable you to work a lot more productively and a lot more efficiently and with more mental clarity than if you were just jumping from one thing directly into the other. So I have a pile of laundry prepped and I'm going to get back into my work. Hopefully I'm going to get to that tonight um, and mostly because Ruben and I really need some clean clothes. Um, so yeah, that's ready to go. I've had enough time to rest and now I'm going to jump into that work that I need to do for Drew. And if my dog doesn't stop, shut up and stop uh, growling, <laughs> I'm probably going to take him out. How is it that you know I turn on the phone because I want to get your growling misses? You're serious, Radar? Every single time I try to catch you growling, you just shake it off. I am on a walk to my local King Supers. I'm happy to say that I got the website updated for Drew. So that is off to him for some copy editing, just to make sure that I've got everything where it's supposed to be, that the language is right. And so now I'm on my way to go get some money for laundry so that I can start that because I found out afterwards that I actually don't have any quarters at home. Yay, clean laundry. The hard part about being an entrepreneur is also having to take care of your house while you're busy trying to build your business. I'm thankful to have this evening. Uh, Robo is out helping a friend of ours do their breaks, and so I have the whole house to myself tonight. And because I'm not working, I'm able to focus on getting some stuff done, like this load of laundry that's sitting right here. So it is late. I need to get this finished up, and mostly because the rest of the laundry is sitting on my bed, and I need to be able to go to bed. Uh, because tomorrow is going to start really early. I have a meeting with a friend of mine at 7.30, and then I have a doctor's appointment after that. So I've got to be up early and hustling and getting out the door in order to catch my bus so yeah sleep that'll happen soon so this is the end of today's video um i forget at this point what the theme was <laughs> So, um, if you guys have questions or comments things that you want to me to focus on in my videos go ahead and suggest them um you know, if it's hints, if it's tip, uh, tips, if it's things that you guys want to see, ask questions about, uh, just things I'm not covering in my videos, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Um, if you haven't been able to subscribe yet, I'm tired. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you guys along on the journey. You get to see how I'm hustling every single day, going from extreme amounts of energy until right now where I have exhaustion. So... <laughs> It would be great to have you guys along for the ride. And for those of you who are constantly watching and giving me feedback and commenting, you guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.